Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn what is Argo CD not. And then here we are going to learn how Argo CD is different from other CD tools, right? So let's start. So first of all here, let's understand what is Argo CD not, right? So here I mentioned what is Argo CD not. So Argo CD is not a programming language and it's not a development framework or, or runtime environment for application. So it's a specific tool used for continuous delivery and GitOps practice, right? So it's a CI tool, so that's why it's used for continuous delivery. It's not a CD, C, sorry, it's a CD tool. So that's why here this continuous delivery. It's not a CI tool, right? Argo CD is a CD tool. It's not a CI tool, okay? So first of all, it's not a programming language, right? So Argo CD is not a programming language itself and it doesn't define how application or infrastructure are written or developed. So it manage and deploy existing application configuration defined in Git repository. Okay, so it's clearly that Argo CD is not a programming language, right? Then next is Argo CD is not a development framework. Okay, it's not a development framework like Django or Ruby or Rails. So it's not used to building any application, right? So Argo CD is not a development framework. Then next is Argo CD is not a runtime environment. So it doesn't host or run your application, right? So it's deploy them to a Kubernetes or other infrastructure where they can execute. Then next is Argo CD is not infrastructure as a code tool. That means IAC. Okay. So while Argo CD manage Kubernetes manifest and Helm chart, it is not an infrastructure as a code tool like Terraform or AWS Cloud Formation. So it doesn't provide infrastructure resources, but it deploy and manages applications on existing infrastructure. Then next is Argo CD is not a version control system, right? That means VCS. So Argo CD release on a version control system like typically Git and manage application configuration. But it's not a replacement for VCS, that means version control system. So Argo CD is not a version control system. Then next is Argo CD, it's not a monitoring and no, sorry, monitoring tool or sorry, monitoring and observatory tool. Okay. So Argo uh, monitoring tool here in this Argo CD, we are going to use the monitoring tool like Prometheus, Grafana, and CloudWatch, right? So that's why your Argo CD is not a monitoring tool. So Argo CD primarily focus on application deployment and synchronization with Git repository. And it does not provide monitoring, logging, and features for your application, right? You would typically use separate tools for this purpose like Prometheus, Grafana, or Elasticsearch, or you can say CloudWatch to monitor it. Right. Then you can see in summary here, Argo CD is a tool specifically designed for continuous delivery and GitOps, which in, involve automatically deploying and managing applications based on Git repository contents, and it complements other tool and process in the software development and deployment pipeline. Right. So our it's clear that Argo CD is a CD tool, right? Continuous delivery tool. So here, Argo CD is not a programming language. Argo CD is not development framework. Argo CD is not runtime environment. Argo CD is not infrastructure as a code, that means tool, right? And Argo CD is not version control system. And in last, Argo CD is not a monitoring tool, okay? Then your next is how Argo CD is different from other CD tools, right? Why? Because Argo CD is a CD tools. So that's why here I mentioned the point how Argo CD is different from other CD tools. So let's understand how Argo CD is different. So Argo CD is a continuous delivery tool, right? So it designs specifically for deploying applications and services in Kubernetes environment. Okay, and it differs 
from the CD tools in several ways. So let's understand which ways. So the first way is native Kubernetes integration. So let's understand what is native Kubernetes integration. So Argo CD is built with native Kubernetes integration in mind, right? In uses custom resources definition, that means CRDS to represent application and their desired states and making it well suited for deployment, deploying and managing applications in Kubernetes cluster. And many other CD tools, that means continuous delivery tools, are more generic and may require additional plugins or con configuration to framework efficiently in Kubernetes environment. Okay. The next is declarative configuration. In Argo CD, Argo CD is a declarative configuration. So that's why it's a different from other CD tools. Okay. Here you can see in Argo CD, ensure that your actual cluster state matches the desired state. Right. So this approach simplifies the management of application configuration and promotes infrastructure as a core and practice. Okay. The next is GitOp, uh, GitOps approach. So Argo City is different because it's a GitOps approach. Argo City follows the GitOps methodology, which means that your entire application configuration include version control and is a store in Git repository, right? And Argo City continuously monitor the repository and automatically synchronize the cluster, right? Which the repository contain. And this approach helps in versioning, auditing, and collaboration on application configuration. So that's why the Argo CD is different from other CD tools. Then next is app-centric model. So Argo CD is an app-centric model. So it allows you to group related Kubernetes resources into the applications and enables you to define dependencies between them. So they this makes it easier to manage complex application with multiple complements, sorry, components. And Argo City focus on managing application rather than just Kubernetes resources. So that's why the Argo City is different from other city tools. Next is rollback capabilities. Argo City provides the strength forward mechanism for rolling back to a previous version of an application. Right? If issues arise during deployment, this can be essential for ensuring stability and reliability in your CD process. Then next is observability. So Argo CD, you, you, you can see here, Argo CD is a monitoring, sorry, uh, in Argo CD, we are going to use monitoring tool like Prometheus, right? So it's offer built and monitoring observability features such as an intuitive web-based user interface and Prometheus metrics, right? And you can visualize the state of your application and gets insight into deployment history and synchronization status. The next is extensibility. Right? Extensibility. So the extensibility, Argo CD is designed to be extensible. And you can create custom tools, plugins, script, and Argo CD suits your specific CD needs. And it supports Helm chart, customize overlays, and advanced configuration management. Then after that, policy and access control, right? So in this policy and access control, rollbacks access control, and this is especially important in multi-team or multi-tenant Kubernetes environment. Then open source and community driver. So Argo City's open source has an active community and contributes and users. And this means you can benefit from the wide range of community developed extension tools and resources, right? Then supports for multiple environments. So Argo CD supports for multiple environments, right? You can see such as development, staging, production, and allows you to easily promote application configuration across different clusters. Okay. Here in this, why Argo CD is different from others? So first reason is native Kubernetes integration, then declarative configuration, then GitOps approach, app-centric model, rollback capabilities, observabilities, extensibility, then policy and access control, then open source and community driven, support for multiples environment. So that's why the Argo CD is different from other continuous delivery tools, right? 
So here in summary, while Argosity is powerful CD tool for Kubernetes environment, the choice of CD tool, that means continuous delivery tool, should depend on your specific requirements, including the technology stack, deployment target, and team performance, right? Then other uh, the CD tools that means continuous delivery tools like Jenkins, GitLab CI/CD, and Spinker have their own strength and may be better suited for the certain use cases, right? So that's why the Argo CD is different from other CD, CD tools, right? So in this session, we have learned what is Argo CD not, then how Argo CD is different from other CD tools. Right. So thank you for watching and I hope you like it.